Hey everybody, Chris here with a new video. So today is day two of our trip to Iceland and today we're going to do less driving and more hiking. That's why I'm watching my step here because it's quite steep. And right now we're walking up to a secret waterfall of which I will put the name down here. And yeah, so let's go check it out. So today the weather is actually quite different than yesterday. There is no sun, it's raining and it's very cloudy. But it doesn't really matter because it's not that much rain and well, the camera can handle it. Waterfall. When people don't know which way to go, go. I bring you in because you sensed it on my pillow. Oh, oh, I stay home with you in my head. So, once again, Annie is playing the model. She is right here behind the waterfall, there is a path and she's standing on the rock and I'm taking a picture of the waterfall with her in the back. So I didn't put on any filters for this picture. I am just closing the aperture a little bit to f11. That way I can drag the shutter a little bit more at one fifth of a second and I'm using an ISO of 200. So that's it for the secret waterfall. We are now leaving and hiking back to the car and then we'll go eat. Is it real? Could this be So after having a really satisfying lunch and a much needed break, we are now having a relaxing stroll along the beach here at Eastwich by the Sea. Uh, no, that's not it. It's the south coast of Iceland and it's called something Rainis Drangar. I'm gonna write it down here.
this beach here is a black sand beach and as you can see it's still very cloudy and you don't really see that far and that's why I decided to make a long exposure and to use the polarizer as well as a 10 stop ND filter so I can drag the shutter to around 15 seconds and it creates a really surreal picture of the stone pillars that are coming out behind me here. I'm capturing the famous black stone pillars here at the Black Sand Beach and they are said to be three trolls that walked out into the sea and then the sun came out and they were petrified right there. True story. To calculate the correct exposure when you're doing long exposures I'm using a very handy app on the iPhone which is called long exposure calculator and I will put the link to the app down in the description of this video So on our way to the next destination here at the south coast of Iceland, I have just stopped the car along the road because I noticed there was some water here on the beach and it's very calm, very still and you can see the reflection of the stone pillars of Rainis Drangar in the water over there and with the clouds it's, it just looks amazing. We have reached our last destination for today probably and we're still at the black sand beaches but we reached a high vantage point and we can still see the stone pillars that we saw earlier on the beach but there are some other rock formations. One last picture and that's it for day two here in Iceland. There is just too many clouds in the sky today so there's not going to be any sunset. But I'm really happy with the high contrast black and white pictures I created here today. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe, comment, you know the drill. 
I think it's time to have a drink now, so I see you in the next video. Bye-bye.